Welcome back. Now, we live in a world of gadgets, but imagine the type that can control a computer, the flick of a wrist, track your health, even keep an eye on the kids. Well, it's the newest wearable technology soon available in Australia that's certain to revolutionise the way we live, eat and parent. Linda Kincaid has the details. So you're walking around the house, controlling the music you're hearing, turning up the volume, changing the track. It maps those gestures to be the right commands for that application. Technology so advanced, it works with the flick of a wrist. I let you control computers and other digital devices around you wirelessly. Making science seem stranger than fiction. New sci-fi thriller Lucy, starring Scarlett Johansson, looks at what a super-powered brain could be capable of if 100% were used. It is estimated most human beings only use 10% of the brain's capacity. Imagine if we could access 100%. Well, you may soon have some of that power, but instead of using all of your mind, you use your muscles. It actually picks up the little muscle activation, so these electronic signals that your muscles emit when they're activated to recognize all of these movements and gestures, and then connects over Bluetooth to send those recognized commands to different devices or computers. Unlike other motion control devices, it doesn't require a camera. What happens when she reaches 100%? I have no idea. Three Canadian students developed it at university while researching wearable technology for the blind. Well, here, Chris is actually starting music by making a gesture. You know, he's playing the song here, and he can go and change tracks by flicking left or right. Um, and the same exact controls apply in any different application. The creators aged in their early 20s are working with Australian engineers and have pre-orders for the device in 140 countries. The sink basically can monitor up to eight kids simultaneously. For parents who dread the thought of children disappearing in public places, this wristband could be a solution. Parents can set a safe zone for children to play. If one wanders away, a text message is automatically triggered by the band. And so basically a child puts this on, Yep. so it's pretty easy, you wear it a bit like a watch. Yep, yep, that's right. And then how do you activate it? Does it is it activated automatically once yes. the battery's charged? Yes, it is activated automatically. Um, once the battery is in there, it runs for three months um, and you don't have to worry about it. The device also used by adults tracks fitness, sleep patterns and stores allergy information. We've got autofocus, uh, macro focus, fixed focus options, uh, whereas Google Glass or GoPro or other kind of action cameras are always stuck in one mode, uh, fixed focus. These pivot head recording glasses take photos and record and stream high definition video. And in terms of price, how does it compare? So it's a lot cheaper, Linda. It's about less than one third the cost of uh, Google Glass all in. What's the target market? Well, at the beginning, um, it's going to be mostly um, industrial. Um, people like um, working in logistics or medical applications or oil, gas. Augmenta, a Finland software firm, is adding gesture control and binocular projection to glasses like these. So, Damien, how do these work? So, these glasses have little displays inside of them, and there's a small camera here that is we use to capture the gestures. So as I put the camera on, I can see the environment uh, in front of me through the video camera. And I have also have some overlays that I can interact with. For example, I can take my hand over here and use it as a, as a type of mouse cursor and move it around and select an application. We can uh, select items in the menu, for example, we can play simple games. If you're going through a checkout, you can use these glasses to enter your PIN code yeah. without anyone seeing Exactly, it. so you would have a, your hand would be completely blank to any outsider. So as the technology improves, would the glasses become more attractive? I do hope so. <laughs> this is fashion with function, where gadgets and glamour collide. Forget about a boombox. You can now carry speakers in a couture clutch. It's our instant party in a bag. You can take it again to the beach with you. You can take it to the park on a picnic. Luxury accessories designer Rebecca Minkoff teamed up with engineers from Stella Audio. The result? Trendy technology. 
And the best part is it's actually a speakerphone as well, so you can answer your phone calls while you're listening to your music. We spend four hours a day listening to music these days, and so we really wanted to design something that was really fashionable, something really exciting, and something for the female consumer. We, we feel it's completely overlooked in the space. Oh, Linda Kincaid reporting there from New York, and most of the products will be on sale in Australia by the end of the year. But we'll be back in just a moment.